You've had two weeks, you had a spokesperson put something out that is false on its face. By the way, did you approve this statement when it went out? Uh, I, I don't know if I did or didn't, Senator. Has this I, spokesperson, is, is he still employed? Does he, he still have a job? He is still employed. Senator, what I will tell you is that Secret Service agents are not political. Okay, you're not answering my question. But, but you know what? Leadership I'll get to appointed your answer, by the Senator, president, if you allow me appointed to. by the president is political. We'll you are refusing yet, to but answer But the number straight. of Secret Service Sir, agents stop protecting him. Stop, stop interrupting me. Go ahead, you Senator. You are refusing to answer clear and direct questions. Mr. Rowe, thank you for being here. I agree with what you said at the outset, that the individual Secret Service agents demonstrated remarkable personal courage, putting their bodies in between the line of sight of the shooter and the president. That being said, the bravery of the line agents is quite different from the decisions of Secret Service leadership. Secret Service leadership committed catastrophic security failures. Indeed, the worst security failures for the, for the Secret Service since 1981, since the attempted assassination of President Ronald Reagan. It is incumbent upon this committee to determine why those security failures happened. Just after the shooting, Secret Service put out an official statement from your spokesperson that says there's an untrue assertion that me a member of the former president's team requested additional security resources and that those were rebuffed. This is absolutely false. In fact, we added protective resources and technology and capabilities as part of the increased campaign travel tempo. Was this tweet accurate? With respect to Butler, Pennsylvania, it is accurate, sir. It is accurate that the Trump team had not asked for additional security and had not been rebuffed. If you're talking about Butler, Pennsylvania, all assets requested were approved. If you're talking about the media reporting of assets requested, uh, there were times when assets were uh, unavailable and not able to be filled, and those gaps were staffed with state and local law enforcement tactical assets. So I, I'm reading from the Washington Post, July 20th, 2024. Secret Service said to have denied requests for more security at Trump events. The opening paragraph, top officials of the U.S. Secret Service repeatedly denied requests for additional resources and personnel sought by Donald Trump's security detail in the two years leading up to his attempted assassination, uh, according to four people familiar with the requests. Is that right, that repeatedly the Trump detail asked for more resources and repeatedly Secret Service leadership turned that down? That, that is not accurate, Senator. Uh, assets are requested. There's a process that is made. Um, and How many requests did the, did the Trump team or the Trump detail ask for? Uh, I can get you that number in a queue. You, you, don't na you don't know now. So I can speak to the ones that reported in the Washington Post, and we can go through them if you like. But you don't know how many, how many requests there were. In general, how many requests since 2021 that the former Trump detail has made a request for assets? You've had two weeks. You had a spokesperson put something out that is false on its face. By the way, did you approve this statement when it went out? Uh, I, I don't know if I did or didn't, Senator. Has this I, spokesperson, is, is he still employed? Does he, he still have a job? He is still employed, Senator. So he lied on behalf of the Secret Service. He still has a job. Did your predecessor, the former director, does she approve this statement? Senator, uh, our comms team, they, they send out statements. Uh, they do deconflict them, and they put them out. Did she approve this statement? Uh, I don't know if she did or did not. Senator. And you don't know if you did either? I, I don't recall re approving it, Senator. Will you commit to provide this committee in writing every written request for additional resources from the Trump campaign or the Trump detail and every response from Secret Service. Senator, I will commit to providing responses and getting you the information that you are seeking. Let me ask you something. Uh, and, and who makes the decision to deny those requests? Did you make that decision? Which requests? Are you talking about the ones that were in the Any Washington Post? Yes. So the process, sir, is that uh, a detail uh, will make a request for either staffing, technical assets, uh, that is handled between uh, the field office and the detail. It goes up to a logistics office uh, between our Okay, office so there's a bureaucracy. Is there a decision maker? It's not a bureaucracy, it, Senator. Give me it's the a person process. that's a decision maker. Is there one? 
Uh, Senator, uh, it's a conversation. It's not just an absolute yay so, or nay. So let me tell you what I believe. I believe that the Secret Service leadership made a political decision to deny these requests. And I think the Biden administration has been suffused with partisan politics. Did the same person who denied the request for additional security to President Trump also repeatedly deny the request for security to Robert F. Kennedy Jr., whose father was murdered by an assassin and whose uncle was murdered by an assassin. Did the same person make that decision? Senator, what I will tell you is that Secret Service agents are not political. Okay, you're not answering my question. But, but you know what? I'll, leadership I'll appointed answer, by the Senator, president, leadership appointed by the president is political. I have a simple question, yes or no. Did the same person deny the Trump request that also denied the RFK request? That's a yes or no question. Uh, Senator, that is not a yes or no question. One, there is a process for a candidate nominee to receive protection. Is there, that does the is buck a stop anywhere? Does that is the a buck bicameral, stop bipartisan anywhere? process so, that the Hill It's a bicameral, in. bipartisan process. What camera? For a candidate, you, for you are a not candidate a Congress. You don't have a camera. Mr. Kennedy submitted a request that was referred over to the CPAC. Okay, you're refusing to answer the question. Let me ask, because the failures on that day were catastrophic. By the way, is it true that on the day of the, of the Butler event that Secret Service transferred agent from President Trump to the First Lady? Uh, no, sir, that's not true. That's been widely reported. Uh, it's not true. There was one airport agent that actually went on the manpower request for the Trump detail. They handled the arrival at the airport what for is the First the Lady. What was the relative the size of the Trump detail compared to the detail that is assigned to the President of the First Lady? Uh, Senator, the former president travels with a full shift, just what, like what, the president. What's the, re so the exact same size? Is that your testimony, that, that the, President Trump had the same size detail that President Biden has? On the day of in Butler, the agents surrounding him, it is the same number of agents surrounding the president today. There is a difference between a sitting president who also not only Hold has, on, you're using president in a way that is not clear. Is it your testimony that in Butler, Pennsylvania, Donald Trump had the same number of agents protecting him that Joe Biden has at a comparable event. I'm telling you the shift, the close protection shift surrounding. That's, that's yes what you no. asked me, Senator, and I'm trying to answer it. You, you are not answering it. Is it the same number of agents or not? Senator, there is a difference between the sitting president of the United States. Then what's the difference? The difference? 2X, 3X, 5X, National 10X? Command Authority to launch a nuclear strike, I, sir. I'm, there I'm are not other asked assets how many that more travel agents? with the president that sir, the former president sir, will not get. you are refusing get. to but answer But the number straight. of Secret Service sir, agents stop protecting him. Stop, stop interrupting me. Go ahead, you Senator. You are refusing to answer clear and direct questions. I am asking the relative difference in the number of agents between those assigned to Donald Trump and those assigned to Joe Biden. I'm not asking why you assign more to Joe Biden. I'm asking, is the difference, is it 2X? Is it 3X? Is it 5X? Is it 10X? Senator, I will get you that number so you can see it with your own eyes.